Hello YouTube, I am Millennium X17. I said I was going to do it. I didn't want to. It was expensive, but I had to. So now this will definitely make my videos a little bit better, I'm hoping. Here is an unboxing video of my new camcorder. So let me get the things right. There we go. All right. This is the Sony Handycam HDR XR150. It is a high definition video camera with a 120 gig hard drive already on it. So we're going to open this bad boy up right here. I'm going to see what's inside it. Ah. All right, what do we got here? We got a uh, warranty information, uh, accessories pamphlet, notes on using SD memory, Japanese language, and uh, receive 15% off your next purchase. All right, here is the same software itself right here. Uh, just software, probably uh, quick video editing software, although I already have Sony Vegas, so I really don't need it. Uh, instruction manual. This thing's actually got some uh, d decent thickness. Do I say about a quarter inch thick? No. I've seen bigger instruction booklet, but, you know, there's that. Then we've got more packaging. All right, we've got a uh, cable for charger cable. We've got the part of the charger itself right here. Here we go, part of the charger. We've got a USB cable for the ca camera itself. We've got, oh, this is cool. Here we go. We've got a, what do we got here? we got a, a one into two, what is this, video audio link cable into one? I don't know. Oh, no, it's uh, it's a converter. It's got that connection right there to the red, white, and blue, or the red, white, and yellow connector. Probably to hook it to a TV. We've got the battery right here. This is actually a pretty small battery. NPFV50. This battery is uh, it's actually pretty small. I'm going to have to charge it up, but I'll have the camera plugged in anyways to the wall, so there's that. And what do we got here? Ah, oh, we got component, actually uh, component cables, high-def component cables. We've got the same connector right there to go to a TV, and then we have component cables to go to a TV, so there's that. And now here is the camera itself. This camera, as a matter of fact, nothing left in the box. This camera, as a matter of fact, I was surprised when I actually saw it in person at the store. This camera is actually pretty small. This camera actually doesn't have a whole lot of size to it. You know, we've got the uh, the lens cover right here. This is supposedly a really fancy lens called the Carl Zeiss lens. I really don't know what how what makes it fancier or better than regular lens, but it has that. This is the hard drive itself. 120 gig hard drive. Probably formatted as like 110 gigs, I'd imagine, but pretty small for a 120 gig hard drive. We've got the actual zoom. Zoom is right there. We've got a photo video mode right there, and then uh, start stop records on the back. So we've got a flip out screen here that that goes down, and then this flips all the way backwards, and then out. So there is the camera itself. This is a pretty. I'm not gonna lie. This camera is expensive. It really is expensive, so I'm hoping that I'm gonna put this on my desk, on my yeah, my desk right neck, right in front of my TV, off to the side. It's right off to like the right side, slightly. I'm gonna point it at the TV, and we're gonna see what kind of image we can get on this. Uh, my first couple of attempted gameplays with this. Hopefully, the microphones are right here in the front. Hopefully, this will be able to allow me to. Re I'll have to go through my surround sound system to record sound from the game, and then also. I'll be talking to the camera, so it will be interesting to see what, how long it'll take me to figure out what you know. How loud will I have to speak versus how loud will the surround sound have to speak for this to pick it up and not be overbearing and not uh, blur out the audio? I have six gameplays of Call of Duty Black Ops on my file share right now. Probably four of them I can guarantee will be uh, upload worthy, and then two maybe let's see what happens. Um, and then also I'm going to be doing some. Uh, Kill streak explanations using the combat training. I'm gonna actually put combat training on easy, just so that I can equip the kill streaks, get them, and then show them, show you guys what they do, how they work, and how to use them. So anyway, this is what I'm doing. This is uh, I don't know what camera uh, Darkside Phil uses, but this is the method that he uses to record his gameplay commentaries. This is not just for Black Ops. Now I can actually record my TV. I can record any game that goes on either PS3 or 360 and then upload them because now I can actually USB to this to my computer and then to YouTube after some slight editing. So now I can do gameplays on pretty much anything. This is the camera. 
It is expensive, but it, this is an extremely nice 1080p. However, just for file size, I'm going to go to 720p on this, and then uh, it'll be really good. So it's something to look forward to probably sometime later after I upload this. I'll be uh, Later tonight, I'll be experimenting with it, trying to get it right. And then probably sometime this weekend, I'll start uploading actual Call of Duty Black Ops footage. Maybe late Thursday or Friday, I'd imagine. This probably video will probably be going up later tonight or tomorrow morning. So here's the camera. There it is. You guys have yourselves a good day.